Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallis hier. Ich wollte nur kurz über Dativverben sprechen heute. I just wanted to talk a little bit about dative verbs. A dative verb is one that usually takes an object that's in the dative case. It's a good idea to simply memorize the most common dative verbs in German. And this is just a list of some of them or most of them. Antworten, to answer. Begegnen, to encounter. Dienen, to serve. Einfallen, to occur to. Folgen, to follow. Glauben, to believe. Gehören, to belong to. Gelingen, to succeed. Imponieren, to impress. Danken, to thank. Drohen, to threaten. Fehlen, to miss. Gefallen, to be pleasing to. Gratulieren, to congratulate. Helfen, to help. And leitun, to be sorry. A few more. Nutzen, to be useful to or to use. Passieren, to happen to. Schaden, to damage. Schwerfallen, to be difficult. Verzeihen, to forgive. Widersprechen, to contradict. Passen, to fit. Reichen, to be enough. Schmecken, to taste. Vertrauen, to trust. Wehtun, to hurt. Und zuhören, to listen to. So when you're using these dative verbs, and you want to use them with pronouns, you must always use the dative case pronouns. And those would be mir, dir, ihm, ihr. And for it, you know that German, they can refer back to masculine nouns with ihm and back to feminine nouns with ihr. Then you have uns, euch, ihnen, and ihnen for them. So du fährst mir means, for example, I miss you. Was ist dir passiert? What happened to you? Das schmeckt mir nicht gut. It doesn't taste good. Ich glaube dir. I believe you. Das gehört mir. That belongs to me. When you use these verbs with definite articles, then you want to use the dative case definite articles. So for der, that would be dem. Die would change to der, das to dem. And for the plural, it becomes what's known as the dative plural, which is die changing to den plus an N added on to the noun that follows, an N or EN in some cases. For example, Ich habe dem Mann gratuliert. Was ist dem Hund passiert? Du kannst der Frau nicht ver vertrauen. Wir folgen dem Hund. Ich muss der Frau helfen. So likewise, if you want to use them with indefinite articles, then you want to use indefinite articles that are in the dative case. Ein, einem, D words, einer, das words, einem. So, for example, das gehört einem Mann. Was ist einem Hund passiert? Du kannst einem Mann nicht vertrauen. Wir folgen einem Hund und ich muss einer Frau helfen. So, I uh, hope this just gives you an overview. Remember, with dative verbs, you have to use the dative. Klingt einfach, ja? Yeah? Sounds simple. Okay, vielen Dank.